this is a supplementary video that I am making in response to a comment by a viewer on the Nano VNA with non 50 ohm systems video. And I'm going to try to post this one right behind that one so that they're uh, immediately together on YouTube. The question he asked was, wouldn't it have been better if instead of calibrating at the end of the adapter on this 75 ohm system, if I had calibrated at the end of the cable, in other words, out here. And the answer to his question is, yes, it would have been better. Now, I realize that doing it the way I did it illustrates the effect of the coax cable and all that. But to get a more accurate measurement, you should calibrate at the place you're doing the measurement. So, if you remember, one of the things we were checking was this uh, two-way splitter, and we were checking it at the input. So, what I have done is I have recalibrated the Nano VNA H4, and instead of using this as the as the reference plane, I used this as the reference plane. So let's let me move out a little bit here. Come back to the Nano VNA, and you see that we have. Even though the cable is in there, we have a very accurate uh, center of the Smith chart. Now, something else that someone pointed out to me, and I think it's true, is the... I'm not sure whether these measurements that it makes of things like uh, capacitors and so on are, are accurate for a non-50 ohm system. I'll have to look into that. So at this point, all I'm really interested in is the Smith chart itself. So now let me hook up this splitter in, once again, with the two uh, ends terminated, the two uh, unused ports properly terminated in 75 ohms and see what it looks like. Well, here is what the uh, that splitter looks like now with the uh, just on the end of the cable, as you see there. So let's put the uh, 75 ohm load back and see if it comes back to the center because this is this is clearly not a 75 ohm uh, device at least not based on what the nano vna shows well as you see it comes back this is now with just the load just the 75 ohm termination back and you notice from 50 kilohertz to 900 megahertz it's right there in the center so let's try one more of those devices. Uh, I'm going to try a, a little bit better splitter that uh, also that does DC to, to 900 megahertz and see what that looks like. And so here is the that duplexer that we looked at in part one or part A. And you notice that it is not a perfect 75 ohms across the full frequency range. The uh, Now, let's check by taking this off. Pardon the, uh, the time here. And putting... the original calibration load back and it comes back by the way the uh, I've noticed that 
some of these nano VNAs tend to leave artifacts on the screen. Since I have this stored, I'm going to recall the stored values so that you get a, a more accurate or a less confusing reading there. And you see that when I reinstall the, uh, the load, right there, that the, uh, let me turn this on, you'll be able to see it better, reinstall that load, then the uh, Smith chart comes right back to the center where it should. So I hope this has been a, a little bit of an update based on a viewer comment that shows that you do get more accurate readings and uh, more true information about your system if you calibrate at the place you're going to be making the measurements. Whether it's a 50 ohm system, a 75 ohm system, a 150 ohm system, or whatever, you always should calibrate at the place you're making the measurements if you want the most accurate uh, uh, results. Okay, well, uh, once again, as I say, this is just a little follow-on, so I'll, I'll cut it off here, but uh, keep, keep staying safe and have a nice day.